gingerbread building. This is prep work. Decorations that I'm going to want to use but I need them to dry. So I partially decorated some of the house. I need that to dry so I can go inside the house and decorate that. I've made some Christmas trees and some wreaths and I tried a snowman not sure if I love it. <laughs> Tell me what you think. So, now, when I decorate my cookies, I like to take my time. I've got the Christmas music going. I've got a glass of wine going. I've got everything ready so I can just relax. Now, YouTube has got 101 different kinds of... Um, no-nos. <laughs> One of them is that you can't use copywritten music without permission and or fees. I'm okay with that. So, the music that I have in the background, they would block my video if I put it out. So, I got it going. The other stuff is pretty uh, speeded up because it's kind of, it's kind of a long work. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the different parts that I'm going to do, and then tomorrow we finish. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some Christmas trees with ice cream cones. Uh, I've got some stipper royal icing. I'm just going to cover it, and I'm going to sprinkle it with non pronal You can put uh, little baby M&Ms on it, or you can put different candies on it just to give it decorations. Super easy. Absolutely, darling. Oh! Now I'm going to make some uh, little wreaths. The same stiff icing I'm going to use in tip three. I don't, I, I'll get back to you on the tip. It'll show it in the video. And I'm just going to make little swirls to make a circle. And then swirl and make a circle and then dot it with some red icing. You could use uh, red hot candies or sprinkles or a bow or nothing, but this is just an idea. <laughs> Next thing I'm gonna show you is absolutely optional. You do not have to do it. I just kind of like the look of it. You know when the points come together on the house? Well, I made these little pretty um, detailed pilagree, uh, filigree, sorry, uh, but it's not really terribly filigree-ish. And they're going to go right along the point of the roof, and it looks pretty. It's just that little extra step, that's essentially a gingerbread house. <laughs> see there are many steps to this this one is super important so you you've cut your pattern you baked them they're cool they're hard they're ready to go but in the baking time they kind of breathe and then they they puff up and then they they come down and that's what you want however you'll see some of the pieces are not plumb they're not level they're not flat so if you try to put them together, you're going to see gaps. You see those gaps? We don't want gaps. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to sand them. <laughs> but I'm not going to use sandpaper. I'm going to use a planer, a microplaner, or a grater, whatever you want to call it. it. It doesn't matter. And it's super easy and kind of fun. So... And my, my camera positioning is really off, so please bear with me. Um, 
I started this side and look at how uneven that is. That's so funny. Yeah, whatever. This is the front of the chimney. It's going to come up against the side. Now you can see that there's just no way. And first off, they're not going to touch here. You're going to absolutely lay them. You want good contact. So it's going to be there, but even still, it's not level. So this is, but this is not. So wrong way. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to do. And it doesn't take much. <clears throat> and then it's much better. I'm going to go down a little bit more. Perfect. That's great. That's going to make good contact with the um, mortar. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's not really mortar. It's uh, royal icing, but it's royal icing at its hardest stage. So it feels like um, very thick toothpaste. That's what you want. When we get it together, you'll see what I mean. So I've got one side. I'm going to go ahead and just flush every piece that I have and um, I'll end up with quite a bit of crumbs here and that's absolutely all right. Started off with the heavier icing just to give it the outline, the white, um, more not mortar, but it'll come to me. The white lines, uh, the <laughs> it's killing me that I can't remember it. That's gonna dry, and then I'm gonna fill it in with red icing to give it the brick look. And as soon as I hit stop, I'm gonna remember the name of it. <laughs> so, anyways, this is a fun thing to, to see too. just put some scallops and I'm gonna eyeball it with an edible marking pen and then trace it with heavier icing and after that's hard then I'll pour a very wet icing on it to kind of run down and look very snowish uh, and then I yeah and that part will will be a couple parts but cool stuff okay I want the inside life to be there so I have two choices I can either sit and hand decorate the wallpaper and the flooring no I went to the store and I got um, scrapbook paper whatever design you want it doesn't matter because anything on the walls and floor are just going to automatically bring in home comfort there no one's gonna say oh that that wallpaper and that tree doesn't look good they're not gonna say that they're gonna be amazed at the detail work now so what I do 
is I take a, you can use a paper, t no, a towel or a dishcloth or something and fold it and give it a little cushion. Then you're going to take the beautifully decorated pieces, turn them upside down. That towel is going to give them the cushion and <clears throat> it'll keep all the intricate little work unbroken and pretty. So <clears throat> you're going to put the towel upside, you're going to put the cookie upside down. And, but first you're going to measure, I've got the, when you're looking into the house, I've got the back side and the front and back of the house because they will look in. So those are the only pieces I'm going to uh, wallpaper. Uh, when underneath the part of the house, you, you'll see, <clears throat> underneath the part of the house where they look into the roof, the side here is holding up the front and back. There's no way they're going to be able to look to see if there's wallpaper there. It's got windows in, they can see through that, but you're still not going to see what's on that side of the wall when you're looking in a window. So, don't need to go to extra trouble, so I won't. So I've got the piece upside down, and I'm putting a, a medium consistency, more loose than hard, uh, but not so loose that the wetness will wrinkle your paper. So I'm going to put it on the cookie and then I'm going to take the cutout of the shape and put it on top, press it in pretty good. Then I'm going to turn it back up so the cookie will weigh on the paper and it'll adhere perfectly. If the corners don't match, don't worry, we still got to put Bondo <laughs> mortar <laughs> in. So don't worry about, don't worry about that. You'll be surprised what is not noticed. And so that's what I'm going to do to the side and the front and the back. Now, the last thing, you saw how that was fairly effortless. The last thing I'm going to do, because I need this to dry hard, I'm going to put lights inside my gingerbread house. And I just I just got a box of 50 white lights and I'm not going to unravel them or anything very gingerly just to stretch them out the width of the roof, the full roof. Okay, so I've got one, how, how can I do this? <laughs> one roof and one half roof. So on the full roof, Again, I'm going to lay it over on top of the cushion of some napkins that I've got padded and I'm going to put the same consistency icing. I'm going to cover the whole board of it. I'm going to lay out the icings, just the lights, just so they fit with the um, plug on the bottom of the roof. I know it sounds confusing. Here, here, just, just watch. You'll see. That's it. Now everything has to dry hard. In fact, I have that sitting under a fan just because I have a dog that turns out loves my gingerbread goodies. I made these cute snowmen out of marshmallows. Can't find them anywhere. Can't find them anywhere. I made a bunch of wreaths. I've got four, maybe five left. And these are out of the way. Oh my gosh. So, well, now I'm keeping a watchful eye on that one. But uh, it's going to dry. Next step is assembly. Okay, so I have all these components sitting and drying. They're going to dry overnight. I told you it's going to be detailed and it's going to be a long process, but I don't mind. I hope you don't. Um, so it's going to sit, it's going to dry. We'll finish it tomorrow and that part, everything's done. So that part's going to be easy. I have to back up because if I am going to um, do the inside, then <laughs> I'm going to need another day for that. So I guess I'll know in about an hour. <laughs> um, this is, this is a, 
a long process. I don't mind it, but just so you know, there's a lot to it. Um, that's it. That's it for now. Until next time, happy baking. Ah, oh, that was fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe.